In this video, traders, we're going to look at the basics of options pricing. Hey guys, one welcome to you. So options pricing can be pretty complicated. You can look at the Black-Scholes formula, you can look at these big derivatives-based equations and come up with, with, with prices. But for traders, we just kind of want to break it down into the big fundamental basics so we can see the major components that affect the options price that we're trading and decide whether it's take a position or not, decide whether it's value, decide whether we think it's good, and all the other stuff. So let's break it down into some simple ways to look at it. So really we have two components to an options price. We have the intrinsic value and the extrinsic value. Let's have a look at the intrinsic value first. So intrinsic value is the profit that's built into the option already. So for example, if we had a $50 put option, and don't forget a put option, is the right but not the obligation to sell those shares. So sell shares in that company at $50 at a specific point in time. It's a bearish view on the market. Now let's say the stock, if we bought a $50 put option, the stock is already trading at $40. That's already got $10 worth of value in the option, right? Because if it expired now and the stock, the stock was $40, we had, we had the right to sell at $50, we'd definitely take that right up. That's got $10 worth of value. So the intrinsic value of that is $10. Let's flip it on its head for a call option. Don't forget a call option is the right to buy that stock at that price at a specific point in time, the right but not the obligation. So assume now that we were trading at uh, $60, okay? Same kind of thing, we're at $60, we bought a $50 call option. What's the intrinsic value of it? You've got it, it's 10 bucks because that's the value of that option now. If we were to expire right this second, you could buy those shares for $50 with that option. Okay, so intrinsic values work, works for put and calls and you can see how if the stock price was up, uh, the stock price was way higher than the call option. In other words, the call option was what's called in the money. Uh, the stock price is way lower than the put option. In the money, there's some intrinsic value. Very often, if we buy an option Let's say we bought a $50, uh, $50 put option and the price was $60. There's no intrinsic value there because at the moment there's no profit built into it. If it expires where it is, you've got the right to sell something at 50 that's currently trading at 60. No dice, no good. Okay, so out of the money, we have no intrinsic value, but in the money we do have. So this comes to the more complicated, more interesting part for traders, right? Which is the extrinsic value of the option. So the extrinsic value of the option, otherwise known as the premium or the time value, uh, is really, this is where the kind of fun and games come in. Because there's a lot of things that go into valuing this. And we're looking at really these two things here. It's basically the time to expiry plus the implied volatility. So in other words, how long have we got on this strike, uh, on this put option or on this call option? If we only, if we have a very small window of time, then that value is gonna be low. That part of it, the time value is gonna be low, right? Because the chance of a stock doing something in a short window is much, 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 much lower than it is in a large window. If you said, oh, I think the stock's gonna double in a week, uh, you know, that's not very likely. I, I, it's not gonna, it's gonna be pretty cheap, that. If you're saying, I think it's gonna double over five years, you could do, you might be 50-50 shot. That's all of a sudden that's gonna become increasing value. So as time goes up, as time increases, so does the price, so does the extrinsic value that also increases as well. Okay, so as time increases, our extrinsic value increases. So what else? Implied volatility. Now this is where I think the juice is in trading options is because this there's a lot of complexity about this and how this is this is formulated, but Ultimately speaking, it's what people, how, how volatile people perceive this, or this stock price will be in the future. Now, it's not current volatility, implied volatility will take into account earnings. So if you've got earnings coming up, there'll be a best guess of based on supply and demand. Don't forget options are based on supply and demand as well as there's an actual intrinsic value, but roughly speaking, we've still got some supply and demand in there, but in the offers going around basically a core valuation. Implied volatility, like, hey, well, this is a really volatile stock and we've got earnings coming up. Uh, there might be, you know, plus or minus 20% move over earnings. So the price of the option is going to be huge. So as implied volatility increases, the price of that, the price of the extrinsic value increases. So you can see if we've got a very volatile stock over a very long period of time, it's going to be a very expensive option because volatile means uncertainty, right? We could be shooting up 100% and it could do it very, very quickly. 
If the implied volatility is very, very low, it's a very chuggy, slow stock, and we've got a very, very long period of time, a very, very short period of time, should I say, then the price of the option is gonna be very, very cheap. So you can see that these are both kind of going like, it makes sense as well, right? If you think about the logic behind it, it makes perfect sense. So that's, those are the two major things, guys, that make up the value of an option. The intrinsic value, the profit built into it, and the extrinsic value. If we're buying an out of the money option, it's purely based on the time to expire and the implied volatility. If we're buying an in the money option, we've got some profit built into the option as well, which you need to add on to it. Okay, and that could be, let's look at an example. That could be, let's say in this example, we have got $10 worth of uh, intrinsic value. If I can draw on the board, we've got $10. And let's say the time value and the implied volatility gives us $3. Okay, that plus that, the price of that option would be $13 right and you can see how that would would, would affect price um, and also just to add to this we have got two more things that go into the price of the option and that is the cost of borrowing money or the cost of money because obviously if you're putting money to work in an option there needs to be some give and take with that plus dividends but generally these are kind of fixed costs that aren't going to fluctuate massively that's just a fixed tacked on a small price tacked onto the total option but these are the biggest things here the intrinsic value the profit is built in and this one where the real juice is for traders which is the extri extrinsic value the time value and the implied volatility all right guys hope that's made some sense the basics of options pricing